Before this video starts, I'd like to thank Marriott for collabing with me with this video. Um, if you don't know what Marriott Beauty is, it's a clean, sustainable, vegan, cruelty-free makeup brand. Um, I've gotten two of their products and I've been using them for a few days now and I've been really, really loving it. Um, as someone that doesn't wear makeup like at all, like at all, at all, at all, at all, this has become my routine. I kind of talk and do this intro like several times and I keep messing up. So yeah, so I got the brown shade and I got also the black and brown. I'm really, really digging the brown because it is the most natural on me. Like the black brown is like good, but this one is a lot more natural. How my routine now? because i just am so obsessed with it like, like i like the more natural look on me but this is just something to add into my routine to give myself a little you know mm. i do have an affiliate link if you want to purchase these yourself i have a link down below not only will help me but also help you too okay back to the video okay my hair is a mess because i did not i woke up not that long ago i've been wanting to vlog if you're new subscribe like this video comment check out my other videos um check out my socials everything's linked down below if you're not keeping up with them you're missing out and turn your post notifications because that's very important because youtube is bugging a lot so yeah i do post i have been posting a lot of shorts because i don't have any videos really right i'm going to be going hiking why am i going a day after it just rained so i'm going with this guy i've been seeing for a while um this has been kind of like a thing we've been planning but this hiking spot is closer a lot closer because the one that i went to with my parents back in like march um like it was 50 minutes out like it was a 50 minute drive like it was a literal mini road trip and it was cool and all i enjoyed going there but you know whenever you're hiking in the desert all you see is literally rock sand lizards and squirrels the shit that you already see in front of your house but it's just for the experience you know i'm probably gonna take pictures and stuff like that because you know i never been to this spot i do miss going to the gym but i'm gonna be wearing this crop top sweater i haven't worn it in so long but i used to wear this to the gym when it was like really cold out and it's been really chilly lately so i'm gonna wear this with some leggings um, thinking about going to cosmetology school right so i looked up the school saw i had really good reviews and i was really really confident about this answer so i called them and um or no no they, they called me like immediately after i sent in a question or whatever and they i set up this tour thing i was super excited um and i went yesterday tell me why it was on the most like i've been there like i've been near there but i've never seen the school there i've gone there a couple of times but over there where it's at it's dirty and it's gross and it's like near a bar not that far from a bar and like there's shit and there's vomit over there so it's like really dirty over there on that side of town and um yeah like there's a bunch of drunk people and shit i never really see them but i just see the aftermath of everything and plus i would go in the day and not really at night i've gone at night a few times but it wasn't really like really late but anyways so um so i went there for a tour because i was supposed to have a tour it's weird because they didn't tell me that the lady that was supposed to be touring me wasn't gonna be there and i was we were waiting for a while like a good 15 20 minutes for this woman that i was supposed to meet up with and she never came and so this guy this older man ended up touring me which i was fine with because i think i talked to him on the phone before and i remember him being kind of like super uppity and super like high energy i don't know i don't really see that with old people but it was really interesting he was really nice super duper sweet i really liked his energy but when i got to the fast foot office after him I think he what is he the registration office and then the fafsa office just to know what it would be like the salary and shit like that would be like and the 
financial aid and shit like that like what is the total gonna be and i don't know i was went from being really hopeful about the situation to really like ooh, i don't know how i feel about this it's an it's for six months and i thought it was for nine months because i swear i saw nine months or i heard nine months or something but it's for six months anyways it's a nine thousand or six thousand dollar course i think it's a six like between one of those numbers it's i don't know i'm also dyslexic so i'm probably flipping the numbers a lot so um anyways yeah it's a expensive ass school there's like a down payment there's also payment when you you have to pay that's like 413 dollars 413 dollars just to pay before you go to the orientation and i would have to get that in before i even get set foot into the school and there's also some fees like the laptop fees and also like to use their stuff and there was the licensee thing you have to pay for your license which I, that's like nothing um but anyways they were talking about student loans and that i would have to owe and pay monthly for what is it called to pay back the student loan or something like that and i started getting really turned off because for me is not to pay for shit back I anything back i don't want to owe anything and i don't want to be in debt for the next six months like after those six months those that six months is gonna fly by really fast because it's already the end of the year and if i go i would start on halloween and um yeah i still have time to think about it it's not really like set in stone like i have to branch out my option i want to go through that with my brother's school he doesn't have to owe anything and pretty much everything is handled like it could be covered with va benefits but i still feel like i'm gonna have to owe something the option is the other college that i've already kind of signed up for a while ago so i've been to a cosmetology school but i've seen shows about cosmetology and they would have all these cute little designs and stuff like that and it looked cute it was just very bare and boring inside and but the people there are really nice but it also looked like they were dead inside at the same time so i can't really tell what the fuck is going on i don't know why i was getting cult vibes from it i don't know like i still want to do this like what i wanted to go to school for was for 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 that school i wanted to do be a manicurist and the the ghetto part was that they don't give you like those led lights those lamps i think you have to buy it yourself or something but they kept saying that they don't provide it which is really important to have like you don't want to be doing this when you're drying your nails or whatever and looking crazy and it's just way faster to do it under the lamp you just put it in there for 30 to 60 seconds and then you're done i'm hungry so i wanted to make some food talking about the freaking um hike that i went on anyways i can't even open this I don't even eat cheese, so this is gonna be like very interesting. So we go on the hike at 11. We got there at like 11 ish. And it's by. Okay, first of all, I've never been to this hike. I've never been to this trail before. So this was like a new experience for him and I. And so, anyways, we had a plan to do a five mile hike. I don't know if it was five miles going up or five miles just going up and down, or if it's coming up, five miles going up, and then also five miles going down i would have to ask but i don't really remember part of it there's already an uphill by the way it was probably like 68 degrees when we went there so i was very cold but i had like a sweat a sweater crop top and some pants on but i was still cold so like when i was going up this hill and it wasn't even a big hill but to me it felt big because i don't really work on inclines as much anymore but I used to at the gym, but it was such baby inclines that it was like literally nothing compared to what I was experiencing. So since it was cold and since it was a hill, a big ass hill, I had a hard time breathing. Like literally like I felt embarrassed because I'm just like, this is like the worst time to be starting this. But 
I know that I'm not out of shape because I've been active pretty much like my whole life in some ways. I was on there forever, but it wasn't really that long, but it was just like treacherous because it was cold and to start your hike with a hill that goes up like this, it was kind of like a bit much. So after that hill, everything became very like flat, which I'm okay with. People driving their cars right in the middle of the road. And I thought it was just like only you just walk. I thought you weren't allowed to drive up the hill because there's a gate at the beginning and there's just people driving crazy up and down these hills. Towards like the two miles, I started like feeling like I had to pee. And I was like, I noticed one thing that there wasn't like a porta pine. He's like, okay. We're far away from the car. Like, we're, I'm telling you, like, miles away from the car by now. And he's like, okay, you have two options. Either you go, we go all the way back to the car and find a gas station, or we look at what these buildings are. The buildings were a lot closer. And I was like, okay, we'll try the buildings. We get to the buildings, and by the way, there was like 50 dogs out. Not like stray dogs, but there was like a lot of people out that day because it was like a Saturday. And so like a lot of people were out. Things that looked very like maybe there was someone there. So we ended up going. And we get there. And there's like, I don't know, it looked like there was like a play there. Like used to be there or something. There was a huge hill that you had to go up to to this building. And it was hard. Like it was hard because I had to pee and I did not want to be doing any extra exercise but in the parking lot there's a huge ass hill that I had to go up to and then we went through every door trying to see if there was somebody around to help us with this like issue and there was nobody like nobody that worked there at this abandoned looking place and I was kind of getting like discouraged because even when he found the bathrooms, they were all locked. So I was like, I don't know what to do at this point. I really don't want to go in the bush. And I kept saying, I really don't want to pee in a bush because I don't have anything with me. So he was like, let's go check out this other building and what they have. So I was like, okay, we can go check out this other building. And I'm hoping that they have a bathroom because I'm losing hope here. I've never had this issue before. And he's like, I know that you're a princess and I know you don't like peeing in bushes, but you might have to. There's a building and there's a bathroom. It's in the middle of nowhere. You have to walk miles and miles and miles just to find this bathroom. And when I go to this bathroom, I felt very relieved. But then I was like noticing that it was dark. Couldn't really see shit. And then I also noticed that there's no toilet paper. And so I went to his bathroom like near because he went to the bathroom too so i was like oh do you have like toilet paper over there that can snag from you and he's like oh my shit's dry and i was like oh, oh well there's okay so then there was also no soap i don't know if i mentioned that but there was no soap so i just ran my hands under the water to feel something I noticed that he kept saying he said that he like lost his phone he finds his phone this white couple that looked like they were like probably in their 30s had his phone in their hand the guy had his, his his phone in his hand and um he dropped it like a couple inches away so we weren't really like far away from it um then he told me that like they were gonna like look through it if no one picked it up basically and they were gonna snag it from him if he didn't get his phone in time because they were already like planning on like checking if it didn't if it had battery on it we're going to his car there was this old white man in his car and i don't know if he was gonna go do the hike too <clears throat> i really wasn't sure what was going on but he kept staring at us kind of in a weird way i kept getting this weird vibe from him and he just wasn't saying anything and then he like made gestures at us i don't think he saw he was in front of me but i don't think he saw him make these weird gestures was like like basically like signaling us to give him like a high five for finishing our hike and 
I was like, mm mm. Mm mm. I'm not about to go to some stranger's car not knowing what their intention of is. I heard that we didn't want to go up to his car and give him a high five, but I don't know you. days later anyway so yeah um i'll just tell you what happened at the pumpkin patch and plus i didn't even vlog because we weren't even there that long like we were probably there for like it felt so fast because i realized like he chose the place and he would not tell me like where exactly we were going to and so like and then we were pulling up and I was like, I've been to this place before. I've vlogged at this place before. Three years ago. Fun. Like, I had a chill time. I just, the only part, I was trying so hard not to complain because there was mosquitoes out at 3 p.m. Not that they come at, like, maybe when the sun is going down to nighttime, but I didn't know those bitches were out at 3 p.m. too. We on the hayride because he kept talking about how he really wanted a pumpkin. And so I was like, okay, we can get a pumpkin. And the pumpkins are at my house because we're going to carve them sometime this week, probably during the weekend. It's only Monday, so probably during the weekend because that's the plan to do that. Or you have to go on the hayride to get to the pumpkins. And he was like, but first we did the um, maze, which was like literally like that. The maze, the corn maze is not even a corn maze. There's no corn on it. And there was mostly weeds everywhere like it was not no corn maze at all it was the most ghetto shit ever like it used to look so much put together a couple of years ago and then like this year it's like oh i'm done i'm over it you know since covid hit and like when he stopped a bunch of mosquitoes started emerging and attacking all of us there was like at least 10 people on that ride and there was even like a freaking infant that looks like he's been he was probably like a month old or less than a month old and everyone was getting i saw everyone doing this and i'm covered like i'm completely covered from that hayride like that was the death of me like i was doing so good until i got to the hayride stop at this place and then like it's connected to a denny's we go to the we both go to the bathroom we come out and we were like he was like oh what else should we do and i was like well there's a denny's right there i had a denny's for like probably an hour or two just talking and stuff like a schedule of things like when i used to plan out my day i felt a lot better and a lot more productive i just would start procrastinating a lot even though i know i have shit to do but I just kind of keep thinking in my head, like, who's really going to watch this? Because, like, getting people to watch my 30-minute videos, 20-minute videos is, like, pulling teeth at this point. Because everyone is, like, into five-second videos, five- to six-second videos now that it's kind of hard to reel the people in. But I know that there's people out there that are probably, like, still into long videos, but it's still, like, hard to appeal to that because i used to rack in hundreds and hundreds of views but i was also very consistent yeah okay bye this thing is about to shut off <laughs>